Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous video, we sort of shifted around our level strategy again, pushing more EXP into bigger green after noticing this outrageously high special attack. It's at 96 compared to even our Kaioken, which is supposed to be balanced around slacking every other turn, being a little bit higher level with an attack of 120. So yeah, we're we're pushing EXP into what we think and kick ass. I think that's still up front, right? Yep, all 29, down three levels from Kaioken. Now what are you going to throw out? You threw out a Soul Rock, which is I think Psychic Rock. Well, whatever it is, it can eat a Razor Leaf to the face. Nice crit! Honestly, I don't expect it to die if it wasn't a crit. So we could have taken some damage. Okay, no response here. No free items. And over here we have a bird trainer with three Pokemon. Let's go fire punch that. I think we've established at one point that this does have ice on it. At least just from hitting it with a bunch of things, from running into it a lot. Next up is a Shuppet, I'll switch out. Honestly, at this point, Probably could have handled it with bigger green, but I, I didn't want to. The Shuppet probably under leveled 25 right now, but I should have expected it to be low level. And also being first form evolution means its stats are garbage compared to if it had evolved. But you know, at the end of the day, it's not that bad to have some EXP for Kaioken. We kept him in our party this whole time for reasons. This looks like a good fire punch candidate. Arrow Blast would have been good too, but that doesn't align with our stats. We got a one stage speed drop, but we're four levels over, so I think we can still hit first. No? No? I gave you one turn to do some damage to me, but you chose to... Okay. Almost level 30, nice. Do we have anything else? We have this item here, which is a max repel! Nice! I love repels! Although I can always buy a stack, so I don't know what to think about that. Maybe we should have used the max repel, huh? A for alligator, level 27? Hmm. This thing, I think, is defensive. And also, it'll only have stab water. Being third form evolution, it'll probably give a lot of EXP, so let's kill this. And it has Comet Punch. Don't kill me. I have had two death when I didn't run the randomizer on uh, when I was running the base game. It was two deaths. Because that, well, not Comet Punch, but it was actually Arm Thrust. It had it hit five times with one crit. That was super annoying. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to use that one item that we picked up. Not the Lemonades, not the Awakening, the Berry Juice. It's essentially a potion that's taking up more slots than we need, or more slots than we want to spare. So in that sense, we can just get rid of it. Now we're not relying on Husky Starcraft too much, so I'm going to drain some health and put it in a bigger green. We also got this guy here. 
He's only gonna fool someone the first time they see that. Because they don't know what that what that patch of dirt is. You'll look at it and you'll be like, that's definitely not a patch of dirt, but I don't know what it is. There might be an item behind it, or a really short guy, or... I, I don't know. I don't know what you expect. We're also looking forward to our level 31 move, which could be something good. Next up, Cubone will stay in. First form evolution, it won't do too much damage to us, I'm assuming. Level 25 are also super over leveled. Just finish that up with Razor Leaf. Next up is a Hitmonchan. We'll stay in. Well, stay in. It's probably under leveled. Yes, it's under leveled. That means we can arrow blast it, right? Although if it misses, I think we're out of we're out of PP on it. Ah, don't have to worry about it. It went down. And over here we have another bird trainer. We'll skip him for now. And that's because we can grab a heal here. Unfortunately, you can't get past the bridge right now. Because that bridge is guarded by plot grunts. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit into box 2 every one that I have, except Buttercross. And then I'm going to withdraw them all. That gives you a full heal on them. I don't know if that's intended. I feel like that might be why this PC was put in here to begin with. But I I don't know how much thought goes into this. Whenever a game is first designed, you never know what the players will use things for. And now the order for our team has been all messed up. I know Buttercross was on last slot. Super Saiyan Rose used to be on last slot. Our utility Pokemon used to be on second last slot, but eh, whatever. Now we can go back and clean up the bird guy. At least we know we're not missing anything by not having that fast bike. Because before we came up this cliff, there was that fast bike slope, which is also on our screen right now. Hey, it's a Mighty Anna. But yeah, that slope just leads up here. I guess you, I guess you can miss a few wild encounters. Let's take a look at summary for Husky Starcraft. You have high... Actually, your defense and special defense are about the same. Although your attack is high. And... We don't have high defense, do we? I looked at attack for some reason. You have 52 defense, probably not a good idea. So probably Spore... Spore Spam or Spore Switch? You use Spore Switch, I guess. Okay, it's time to kick the dog, or punch the dog. Okay, now we have to clean up all of the grunts in the Weather Institute. I know how to walk through here without too many battles. I think only one of these is mandatory. You probably have to fight one of these two. Maybe not. Who's out first? Big or green? Good. Yeah, you'll have to fight one of these two. But I think there's one grunt in here that looks like they'll fight you, but they actually won't. At one point, I used to have all of this figured out. And that was because... I was running my Sapphire game to farm Master Balls. 
But yeah, now now I kind of forgot about all of that. The biggest thing about farming Master Balls on a second game and skipping grunts is not saving time. It's saving levels on your Pokemon. What do we have for Lotad? Do we have Thunder Punch on there? No, that's neutral and super effective. There's nothing good about Lotad. We'll just stay in. Arrow Blast is good. But yeah, it's mostly about saving levels. That's why I run around the grunts. If you overlevel your Pokemon, then they will stop obeying. So you'll have to train up another one. Because of... They'll stop obeying because of the gym badges. That's why I sort of figured out how to walk around all the grunts. Anyways, level 31 on Bigger Green, a moment of truth, new move is... What? What? You lied to me. I thought, I, I thought you learned a new move at level 31. What the hell? I'm gonna take my anger out on this grunt. They only have one thing right now, it's a ball toy at level 28. I think that's Psychic Ground. Razor Leaf should target the ground. You're level 28, so you should get the hell out of here. Well, that cleans up all the grunts over here. And I think it's this grunt that you can skip. No? No? Maybe that grunt bought glasses. Of all the randomization things that have been done, maybe he bought glasses. Go arrow blast that. Next up is a Meditates. We can arrow blast that as well. How many other grunts are here? I know you're skippable because you look around. I didn't want to skip you. Hey, you have three Pokemon. Bigly Buff, level 26, and not a lot of EXP. Low stats, probably a Razor Leaf will cut it, huh? Next up is a Skitty. Just throwing out all of these low level things. That's probably Sandstream, right? Yeah, it has Sandstream. It's the weirdest things have the weirdest abilities. I guess we'll be taking some ambient damage now. Ah, we'll fire punch that out of here. With the Sandstream up, I don't exactly want to save some PP by spamming Razor Leaf. Next up is a Paris. We'll stay in. That's a bug type, so we can fire punch that out of here as well. How's PP looking like? Razor Leaf is not something to worry about. Arrow Blast is low. Fire Punch is still usable. So we don't actually have to go downstairs and run the PC again. This might just be a clean, very clean, bigger green sweep in the entire building. Okay, no respect for this admin because she's not a boss. Hey, level 28 Dust Skull. We actually don't have something for that. Arrow Blaster, just fire punch that. We're over levels. Well, he used bulk up. Attack rows, defense rows, that's it. Get out of here. The regular Duskull will have pressure, which means we would have dropped 4 PP, but I feel like it's fine here. Plus hold next. Hmm. Stay in. 
I want my EXP. All my faith in Vigor Green. Just go and kill that thing. Iron Tail. Yes, it missed. Yep, they're clean. Vigor Green sweep. He's gonna give us cast form, and I'm not sure if this is going to be cast form in this game. It might be something else completely different. A cast form in itself is interesting, but it doesn't... It doesn't perform. All its stats are garbage. Temporarily, we'll box bigger green, and that's because we need a healing on bigger green. It's a very clean entire building sweep with bigger green. Now let's see what this cast form is. Is it an actual cast form or is it something else? Hey! It is an actual cast form. It probably won't have Weather Vol though. Wait, can we not name this cat? <laughs> okay, that's not a cast form, it's a muck. We'll have to we'll have to name you somewhere in a later video, because. Yes, this is Weather Institute, so we can take you, but you're... They didn't give me the option to name you. Can you even rename this? See summary. What do you have? You have Mystic Water, so you're just like a cast form. I'll take that back, I guess. And what moves do you have? You have Water, Sport, useless. Endure, useless. Mega Drain, okay, but it's only 40 power, really? I thought Absorb was 40 power. And Jump Kick. May miss and hurt the kicker. Okay, it's not High Jump Kick. I know you're supposed to be tanky, but... Ah, your attack is actually decent. Although, I don't think I'll be using you. Once we pick up Fly, I'll have to rename you. So, drop off this muck for now. And we'll pick up... A bigger green again. What did this Mux trainer say? Summary? So the trainer says me, which means I should be able to rename this Muck eventually. Alright, let's switch out a bigger green again. And I'll actually like to do one more thing. Even though in the base game it doesn't matter, because at this point we're pretty we're pretty OP at this point in the base game. But I'm gonna I'm gonna carry around Cannon Rush just in case. I don't even know how you're supposed to handle Mei, because there is an admin, a magma admin here. Which means that it could potentially have gotten rough. I don't know how you're supposed to take your half heal team into a Mei, Mei fight <coughs> where she just randomly kicks you around. But, but we healed, so we're prepared, but I'm still going to carry a cannon, or, a cannon rush around just as a backup. Alright, May, show me if you are worthy enough for me to carry, worthy of my respect to carry cannon rush around. Do, do you deserve that... I take you seriously. Well, at least your Poliwag is level 29. Are you going to contribute a new move to Bigger Green? Nope. A Crocodile next? We have one of those. It's level 31, wow. Impressive. That is faster than us. I mean, Bigger Green isn't the fastest thing, but I think we've been outspeeding a lot of things. Oh, this thing actually survived. I wonder what move it'll use next. I'll just continue with Razor Leaf. It's got a lot of usage in it. Well, you used Follow Me twice. I don't know what that's about. I, I don't even know what that move does. 
Got that out of here. 1,000 EXP. Nice. Next up is an Aeron. We'll have to switch out for that. No, we don't. We have Fire Punch on here. I usually handle that with ground moves. So I'm just used to switching. I just automatically jump to Earthquake users. Wait, standard effective? Really? I thought fire was good on steel. I guess it's just standard. I'll spore that, I guess. Vigor Green is just such a good Pokemon. When everything else doesn't work, you can fall back to a safe switch with spore, 100% accuracy, or you can keep on going and just beat it down. Like, this isn't even something that doesn't work out. This is something that... Oh, I woke up. Okay, nice stab move. And next, we'll just... We'll finish it up with Fire Punch. We'll see if she uses an item first. Nah, she's... She's a... She's an honorable opponent. Does not spam items. Like us. Wait. Did I just shit-talk myself? I think I might have. HM02, and I think that is Fly, right? Yeah, that's Fly. We'll, we'll check out the HM compatibility with our Pokemon. Fly is a decent move. It's got good power. It won't get stabbed from our team, but it's still a good move. Yes, it takes two turns, but AI doesn't make use of that invulnerability turn. So it's essentially like a one-turn move. Let's see what silliness has... What well, silliness can use fly? Cannon Rush is able to. Super Saiyan Rose is able to. I don't exactly want to carry around Cannon Rush, so probably the best choice is Super Saiyan Rose. The stats sort of even out. It's a decent fly user. We can always replace Crush Claw. I'm worried about the second move. I'm worried about the second move that that uh, Super Saiyan Rose picks up. That's five levels away, but still. Are we going to make a dash for Lily Cove? Because L Lily Cove has a move to leader. We'll just leave Fly out of it for now. Let's just transfer some health over for now. Oh, I know we're pretty close to town, but I still don't trust it. There might also be stuff down here, right? No? I know there's items down there. You know what? We'll clean up the items and everything in the next video.